Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon is Vietnam's largest metropolis. You may have heard of people saying that it's a bustling and chaotic mess. So we really didn't know what to expect. The truth is the honking here goes on everywhere, but it quickly blends into the background behind the kind people, history and food. Good morning from Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. We are super excited to be here. We're going to be showing you the best thing to do in this vibrant place. To start our day off, let's go get some coffee. You can't speak of Saigon without drinking some delicious, iconic Vietnamese coffee. Inside of the seemingly abandoned apartment building, there is a hidden cafe that you should stop by and a try a delicious coffee treat. We just walked up like narrow, dark stairs. This building looks just abandoned, <laughs> but there is a coffee shop. So let's try. Let's go in. Oh, it's a cute cafe. Oh, there's, there's rum. <laughs> rum? Yeah. Rum. Is it good? Good. I might need to start my morning with the rum. Already? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have an egg coffee with some rum. You can sit on the bar looking out. <laughs> well, we have our rum and egg coffee. Look at this egg coffee. Josh, you got the shot of rum. Uh, and what time is it? Uh, it is 9.58. 9.58. <laughs> she seemed very convincing I should get the wrong. So, but what a cool spot. This is inside like a, in a, a real apartment complex. So you see it's decrepit stairs coming up, but wow, what an atmosphere in here. If you guys saw, they, she did put a little bit of rum actually in the egg after they made Vicky's. Um, but then she said, I just take the shot of rum. So this looks like it's Captain Morgan's dark rum. <laughs> oh my God. All <laughs> here right. Here we go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. First, let me just get a taste of this. See if it's extra rummy. Oh, 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 oh. so good. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that's heavenly with the rum in there. Oh. <laughs> Here's to our first egg coffee ever. This is the first time I'm trying this. I've heard about this so many times, so I was always super curious. Let's stir a little bit. I believe it's a cacao powder on top. Ooh, look how foamy that is. Oh, wow. This is egg? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell. It's so creamy and so foamy. And with the cacao powder, it's perfect sweetness. Mmm. Oh, wow, that is good. Mmm. Wow, what an amazing place to get that cup of coffee. However, now it's time to eat, and there's one food you definitely should not miss when you're here in Vietnam, and that's pho. Let's go to pho hung. Let's cross the street. All right. We're crossing the street. Oh, God. And okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Left and right. <laughs> ah, we made it. <laughs> Hi, hello. 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 <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. We've been here once. It was so good. We have to come back and we have to recommend this to you guys. Wow. So the food is here. Now, here in Vietnam, they definitely have a couple of different kinds of pho. This is yeah. the beef pho and... Hello. Oh, God. It smells so good. Do you guys know what the rest of these veggies are? Let us know down in the comments because we have no idea. First things first, let's get a taste of this broth. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, huge chunks of meat, noodles, veggies. Oh. Mm. Goodbye hangover. That's delicious. Oh my God. I'll take two more. Before we eat, lime. I like to put another one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Now everything's been mixed. Mm. This broth I used to die for. And I'm gonna dip on the sauce. Half spicy, like, I think it's a poison sauce. Mm. 
when you're in a new city, there's one thing you have to do, and that's taste the local beer. We are here at East West Brewing Company, and we're gonna do a taster. Now, you're gonna find the link down below with the discount code if you're interested in tasting some of this deliciousness. Let's go. Thank you. All right. Your beer. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank you. All right, so we got 10 beers. This is the King's Tasting Flight. Looks like we have everything from a pale ale, IPA, porter, blonde, darks, and some fruit beer. So let's give them a try. And all of these are all of their beers, not guest beer, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, I already know Vicky's not going to like the IPA. So I'm starting with that, baby. Mmm, pineapple IPA. Light, refreshing, with the hint of pineapple. Delicious. Ooh, look at that. This is a sake beer. It's pretty unique. It has like sake in it. Let's try. Pretty light and refreshing. With sake, it doesn't have a strong flavor, but it's pretty good beer. Delicious. All right, guys. Our beer session is over. It's time for a food tour. <laughs> We're getting on motorbike. This is gonna be an epic food tour here in Saigon with our guides. Yay! <laughs> Let's roll. Here we Let's go. go! If you're looking for the best way to see this city and taste some unique local food with some fun guides, then this Get Your Guide experience is for you. There's a discount link in the description box below. Oh, cheers to Vietnam. No. Oh. Oh. Hi. 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 Yo! Okay. Wow. It's my turn. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Got a big shrimp here on the end. Let's give it a dunk. An explosion of flavor. Oh, hello. Ooh, for the bananas. That's a huge bite. Here we go. That's good. Mmm. Some banana sticky rice. Looks Slurping like it's going to be the big bite. <laughs> yeah, All right. Big bite. Yeah, that's right. That's right. One chopstick. One spoon. Mmm party in your mouth. Wow, this street is amazing. You guys have been really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you. Much. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another day here in Ho Chi Minh. That tour last night was amazing. There are a lot of local hidden places that we would have never found ourselves, so that was a great tour. We highly, highly recommend it. It was so much fun. Today we are at the War Remnants Museum. We definitely know it's a, something that you should miss. It's an important part of the history, so we want to go take a look. Whether you're into history or not, if you're in Ho Chi Minh City, this is a must-visit site to learn about the struggles that Vietnam has gone through. War is never pretty, and it is hard and sad to see the total destruction and lives it unfortunately took. But visiting this museum reminds us of this important part of history and to always try peace before war. All right, guys, it's time to switch gears here. We are at Vietnam's second tallest building, and we're going to be going to the sky deck. Now, we don't know what we're going to see because the rain is coming in. It's starting to get windy. And uh, the lightning is off in the distance. So let's head upstairs. It's raining, but you still get to see the view of the Ho Chi Minh City. Ooh, very cool. You know, it's, uh, you got a little bit of clouds and a little bit of sunshine over here. And then on the other side, it's just rain. <laughs> you can't see anything. But you do get the view of the tallest building in Ho Chi Minh from here. You can pick either building. We chose this building here because, uh, number one, it's right downtown it's easy to walk to and see the other um, things that are going on right downtown the landmark 81 building is kind of off in the distance so it does take you know a 15 20 minute taxi ride to get there now one thing you may think when you're looking at the structure from far away is that you're going to come out here on the sky deck that's not the sky deck that's actually a helipad and uh you know if you're super rich then you can land up there. Rain is really coming down. I think it's on its own with this weather. It has its own vibe, so it's really cool. So after seeing the beautiful view in the second tallest building in Vietnam, we came to this street food market, the indoor street food market that you should not miss. It's called the Ban Nha Street Market, 
a whole platform and I said, right, there are many, many vendors. It smells amazing. People are just hanging out and having a drink and food. So let's see what they have. This unique indoor street food market is such a fun and convenient place. There's a variety of food to choose from. You got some Greek, you got some dim sum, you got some Vietnamese food, you got a little taste of everything, guys. And even has cocktail bars that offer happy hour. When it's raining like today or you want to get away from hot sunny weather, this is the place to be. Buy one, get one cocktail Ooh. for happy hours. Woo! Oh, they give you a little cute hat. A little hat. This would look good on hoodoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hodu side. Like a Hodu hat. Cheers! Yeah! Is, it, is that a chicken? Looks like a chicken. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's good. So I got the broken rice with the pork chop. Look at the broken rice. Look how tiny those pieces are. The pork chop. Lots of spices and marinade on that thing. Oh wow, that's really good. Yum. I love pho. Uh, I don't care if it's supposed to be a breakfast or whatever. I can eat three times a day. I love seafood, so I got a shrimp one. So perfect, especially on a rainy day. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and be prepared for our next video because we have made it to Hanoi and we cannot wait to share it with you. See you on the next one. Bye.